713 on your Friday Eve around here. Interesting question is the Valley facing an Airbnb bust on your side. Susan is here found out that uh, there are some signs of saturation in the short term rental market. Yeah, so all this means is that there are a lot of short term right. rentals available and they're not filling up all the time, right? So some of these are investment properties and set up to be short term rentals. Others are family homes that are rented out occasionally as a side hustle. Real estate experts say there's real competition for the bookings. I really like the kitchen. For Marlene Mousseau, this is home away from home. We designed it entirely ourselves. We tried to keep it like as original as possible because we really love the mid-century architecture. When she and her family aren't here in Scottsdale, this place is an Airbnb. The winters obviously are very busy. But it's slow in the summer, and competition from nearby short-term rentals makes it even harder to book guests. It is very aggressive. It's a lot of uh, the Airbnbs in the area are actually managed by management companies. They slash the prices. There's no way we can compete with some of that. If the house that they're renting. Valley real estate agent Trevor Halpern says it's a sign that the short term rental market in the Phoenix metro area is saturated. We're seeing big companies that came and purchased a lot of short term rentals that are now either selling them or converting them to long term rentals because the short term rental market might be saturated and they're not getting the rents that they need to be profitable. Even our big week of football and golf back in February wasn't the blockbuster some property owners expected. There are studies that have shown that upwards of 40, close to 50% of all short term rentals in the greater Phoenix marketplace were left vacant during that time. So big shock to the market, big shock to people who came and bought thinking that they were going to rent it out. And a new mid-year outlook from AirDNA shows the increase in supply will cause another year of declining occupancy. Nationwide, AirDNA predicts short-term rentals will have an occupancy rate of 57.6 percent. My husband being born here. Marlene has considered converting this place into a long-term rental, but she still loves to be able to visit with her family. So... For now, we're going to keep it this way. Even if it means the booking calendar doesn't fill up all the time. Halpern says regulations from cities and towns and even HOAs may also be playing a part in some people converting short-term rentals into long-term rentals. But of course, important to note, this is always going to be a vacation destination, yeah, right. right? So there is always going to be a demand for these short-term rentals. It's just how much of a demand, how many short-term rentals can we actually sustain here? True, no doubt about it. All right, Susan, thank you.